So let's talk about calcite real quick. Uh, calcite is kind of soft, at least compared to quartz. Calcite is calcium carbonate. C-A, calcium, carbonate, C-O-3. So it's a calcium, uh, sorry, it's a calcium atom, a carbon atom, and then three oxygen atoms. Uh, calcite makes up limestone. We'll talk a lot about limestone when we get into sedimentary rocks. There's a lot of limestone around here in northwest Arkansas. There's a lot of limestone all over the surface of this planet. Uh, cave formations that you see in, in caves like stalactites and stalagmites and columns and all that, they're made of this. They're made of calcite. In fact, you can take a lot of those formations and if you were to bust them up, they'd actually break along these cleavage planes uh, like this, this piece of calcite has. So you can see these three cleavage planes on this piece of, of calcite. Like I mentioned in the introductory video, calcite will fizz with a light acid. So it's actually breaking apart here. And if I just let that sit there, it'll eventually neutralize it. You can see some of the gas. So there's CO2 coming off of that. I'm contributing to global warming by doing this, no joke. But it's, you know, it's a very, very tiny, 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 tiny bit. Uh, if you do ever handle hydrochloric acid, Take it seriously. This is only 10%. If you ever come around the 100% stuff, uh, that is full-blown gloves and face masks sort of uh, thing. You don't want to inhale it. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to get anywhere on you. Treat it very seriously. Um, but for this, this is mostly a, uh, a danger of getting into your eyeballs. So you want to make sure you're either wearing gloves when you handle this stuff or you wash your hands right after you, you handle it. Um, you don't have any hydrochloric acid in your house except what's in your gut. Um, you may have some vinegar in your house underneath your sink or something. Go get some vinegar. Your vin vinegar is about uh, half the power of this. So if we turn this to 5%, it'd be really similar to vinegar. It's a slightly different acid, but it will make your calcite samples uh, fizz. So go, go get some vinegar. Put a little bit of vinegar on your calcite and see if it'll start to fizz. Of all the mineral samples you have, calcite's the only one that'll really fizz like this. There are some other minerals that will effervesce, that will fizz uh, like calcite does, but it, it just doesn't fizz as much. It's it's not as, uh, it doesn't break apart as quickly. Um, dolomite is one, but it, it usually doesn't fizz quite as much. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's calcite. It's an important mineral as far as building rocks are concerned. Uh, the really good, great ways to identify it are, you know, you break it and you get this rhombic cleavage. You put acid on it and it fizzes. Uh, if I had a really clear piece of this, and a lot of yours I think are, you can actually put it on a piece of paper where there's some text. And you'll see that it has this refractive property where it kind of puts two pieces of, like it'll take a word and all of a sudden you'll see two uh, words sort of that are refracted through through the mineral crystal. Um, but yeah, I think that's it about calcite. It's uh, it's fairly soft. I'll let you go look up the hardness. Um, yeah, so that's calcite.